Okay, aside from the fact that I need to fuzzy remove all of the things, do you see this? I can't, I can't, there's, I can't do anything. I am trapped. This one is grooming. This one just needs a little light, light. She's having a nap nap. And apparently, this is a new thing, but my shoulder is where she's napping when I'm sitting like this because she doesn't think there's enough room on the chair for her otherwise. don't know about this lighting but I am just not sure what to do because I've just been emailing with Chris from Daily Refinement and it's possible that I'm going to be sending 500 pieces of inventory his way so just in case that actually happens I thought I should document this looking such as I, I was in the middle of other things and not and it's almost midnight 30 now but now I'm digging through all my stuff down here and I'm like, no, I can't send him that. He doesn't want vintage and I have so much of the vintage. So yeah, if this happens, you'll see this. If not, it's okay because I look like this and it's midnight 30 and I still am in the middle of the Coviodio. You know what I'm talking about. I'm almost at the tail end. I haven't taken any medicine today since, um, what time? Noon o'clock. Ooh, it's been a while. In any case, and I'm just taking Afrin and the Dayquilly stuff, that sort of thing. Apparently there's some other stuff I could get. I have an appointment tomorrow virtually, but I don't think I need it. So anyway, that's too much information. I'm going, I'm looking here. Okay, let's walk this way. So see here, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm going through, oh my gosh, look at all this fun vintage I have. And then coats. I've got some new with tags in here. There's anthropology. I mean, like, coastal granny, like, so much. I kind of wish that one fit me. That's, he's not interested in that. What's new with tags over there? Oh, nothing. And then I've got, like, new with tags stuff in here. What's this? This is 275, but it's DKNY. I don't know if he's interested in that. A lot of vintage, a lot of vintage. I think most of the stuff that he's going to be interested in is going to be up in the barn and it's pouring down rain and it's cold and it's midnight 30 so i just thought i should tell you because i don't know exactly what's going on but what is going on is i'm there's a lot of stuff and maybe 500 pieces of it will be going to california we'll see what happens this is not how i was planning on starting this out but when it floods in your inventory room and literally I need to get these boots out. I don't know if you can see that. There's about an inch of water on this side of the building and unfortunately it's been soaking into the boots that are leather sold. So uh yeah. Anyway, uh and oh yeah, I have the COVID and it's this is an interesting it's an interesting transition. So let's, hi, love to you. I can't film and do this, but I got to clean up uh, water. Bye-bye. Okay, like, look at that. Oh my gosh. Those are vintage and really cool boots and right now trash. So my thought is I soak the whole boot in water. What do you think? Would you do that? Or at least the toes? The uppers are fine. They're more durable leather, but those I think are ostrich. Anyway. Yeah, good times. Okay, I don't know a lot. Oops. I don't know a lot about restoring leather. I don't know a lot about restoring leather or any such thing like that. But I do know that these are leather soled boots and they simply absorbed all of the water. Now the soles are going to be fine. The uppers are great. But as you can see here, if I don't get the rest of these soaked in the same kind of consistency, I'm going to have huge watermarks. It's actually worse on this boot. It's going to be a nice little, <laughs> nice little decor there. Uh, these are really nice boots. That's crocodile. These are ostrich and they're both vintage. So I do not want them to be destroyed. The upper leather is tough. It's durable, but these are show boots. They are not meant to be ridden hard. So I want to make sure that I get these wet to try and save them. Let's go do that. Who? I only mostly look like a drowned rat. Thanks. So we are in the utility sink room. And as you can see, it's had a lot of paint and utility. I'm just going to fill this up. Got to find a stopper somewhere. 
Um, maybe I'll just run the boots under the water, which I can't do while holding you. Oh, for a tripod. There's not really space for a tripod here, so let me go see if I can find uh, the thing. We'll do the stuff. We'll, we'll figure this out. All right, we're going with the old run them under the water method, and as you can see, it's going to take a minute. It would really be better if I could soak them in the water for a minute. I don't know where my stopper is. I guess I'm going to order one of those. Uh, it's going to take a minute just to run this. But the next thing I need to do is I need to go pull these boots off of eBay and Poshmark so that no one accidentally buys them, or I mean buys them now, because obviously that wouldn't be great timing. Uh, these are going to take a while to dry out. I'm going to give them a... The interiors are in pretty good condition. I'm not soaking this part fully. And as you can see, like, I can get the uppers wet, they're fine, like, boom, water just runs off, no big deal. These do need, like, these are vintage in need of a little bit of TLC. Uh, so, once I get these wet, let them soak, I will then make sure that I condition them really, really well, stuff the toes, reshape them as necessary, and if I need to go get them sealed, I'll go get them sealed. Uh, it's worth it. They're great boots. I'm not going to have them, like, destroyed because of this. And I'll obviously do a cost-benefit analysis. If it's not worth it, I will just have them as a write-off, but I think I can save these. I think I can save those pairs. There were about 50 pairs of boots I had to move. Uh, I'm revamping my storage room out there, and having boots stored in my bins it just is not a cost-effective use of space it left me no room for other shoes so i pulled all my boots out of those and i actually just got three wire shelves delivered that are new that i'm going to be revamping some stuff with unfortunately we just had a flood so there you go oh my gosh okay and that's taken a while so <laughs> come on let's get some water directly on this one um, obviously this may not be perfect, never tried anything like this before, but I do know that if you're cleaning a stain on leather, like leather purses, when I repaired and restored some coach purses, I obviously want to get the whole area wet or it dries. And so that's just kind of a great tip. If you are cleaning, repairing, altering anything to resell, and there's a certain section that has an issue, get the whole thing wet or use the same solution on the whole thing. Even if part of it's fine, it doesn't need it um, because that way it will dry properly. Oh my gosh, I am, it is so humid. I am just, well, I look like a drowned rat. I'm soaked. Anyway, um, let's see. I may take and give this a little attention what's going on here. I also did make sure these have been like recently resold. Oh my god, most of it out. Uh, oh, that might help me get some of that other flood. These were interesting boots. I got them for like five bucks because no one um, knew what they were. Anyway, I can't tell you what the brand is right now because I only have one hand. But as you can see, they are cracking a little here on the back. I mean, not really cracking, but there's a little wear to the color, which I disclosed in pictures. Oh, good. That finally got that. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right. Those should dry beautifully. I'll keep you posted. Actually, wouldn't that be a cute boot, just the way it is? Ooh, like that color. Worst comes to worst, I can uh, have those dyed. Was that myself? I mean, we're just doing all kinds of things right here. All right. I don't know. to do anything so i have gotten a bowl these bowls are great super handy i think they're from the dollar tree and i'm actually going to put this in toe down and soak both of them for a second just to kind of get a uniform consistency with the water uh because i'm going to need to get these a little more saturated than they are and when i check out the interiors they are dry as a bone so i shouldn't have to worry about any mold and mildew or anything like that in there but what I am going to do is turn them upside down with the shafts open to dry them. I'll prop them open, and I think that will help eliminate that. I am going to try not to get the back wet, doesn't need it, and uh, we'll go from there. So, let's do this. I'll have to rotate.
Whew, that was noisy. All right, y'all, wish me luck. This is not exactly how I was planning on starting out, like this whole new era of my existence, but hey, life is just all kinds of interesting right now. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. And I will probably update you on these in a bit when they are dried out. So catch you later, alligators. All right, those are nice and crispy wet. Look at how pretty those are, that color. Anyway, as you can see, this one was already deformed. So I disclosed that and just said they needed reshaped, stuffed, etc. They were stored stuffed. I pulled the stuffing out. But now that they're wet, it's actually a perfect time to reshape them as long as I have to. I am going to be putting up on wire racks to dry them out so there's air circulation. They are some damp inside. Not too bad, but a little bit of damp in there. So I'm going to stuff them with some bubble wrap and not leave it too long. I don't want to get them stuffed too tight also because I don't want to stretch the leather too much. But as long as we're doing this, we might as well reshape this baby too. All right, let's do that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Much prettier. And I gotta do that one. I gotta go find some more bubble wrap. <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay, this is the next morning. Well, like noon. And that is looking so good. You see that? No watermarks. <sighs> That's exactly what I wanted. So, as I suspected, these... Yeah, both of them. And they're both dry. Those, I could have stuffed a little more full, but I didn't want to stretch them out. So those are actually in way better shape than they were. And I can relist those babies and put them back for sale. So great news. Uh, obviously, this is not ideal because they were stored flat, both of these pairs, before I got them. I always disclose that with any listing I do for boots. And I will usually try to stuff them when I have them stored. Like I said, boots I don't put in my boxes anymore. But I may have to figure out another solution. I wonder if the soles are dry yet. Oh yeah, those are dry. That is amazing. So yeah, because these are leather soles, that's how the water absorbed. Otherwise, the rubber-soled boots were fine. Anyway, there we go. I'm so glad that I got those all wet because look at how pretty they are. Yeehaw!